Welcome back to the Good Morning Show this morning. 842 is the time we are back with Alice Smith this morning. And Alice, you walked us through how to be healthy yep. and make some healthy side dishes for the cookout in the last at 730. Now we're going to talk about how to actually make some of these cheesecake bites that you showed us. The tasty cheesecake bites. <laughs> Come on. They are, they are delicious. They are beautiful. They are festive and they are gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan. So don't tell anyone if that will turn them <laughs> off, but they are delicious. <laughs> what you know will, what you know will hurt you. <laughs> right, exactly. Absolutely, we'll say, well, let's go ahead and tell us, you know, how does it start? Where do we begin? Yep, so the crust, actually, it's super easy. The crust is made out of just almonds, a little bit of salt, oh. dates, it's sweetened with dates, a little bit of cacao powder and coconut oil and that's it so just five simple clean ingredients and that is what the crust is made of the filling again is dairy free it's actually made from cashews so if you have not soaked cashews before and that is a new experience mm. don't let it intimidate you so literally just cashews soaked in water it's a great replacement for cheese you can use this in lots of different dishes even the alfredo use it for sour cream use it for cheesecake filling so Using cashews as a dairy replacement is great. And wow. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but it works. That's interesting. <laughs> that's the first time I've ever heard of something like that. Yeah, so that's yes. interesting. Mm -hmm. So I soak these overnight. So I'm going to just drain these really quickly. I wanted you all to see them, though, because it's hard to believe that soaked cashews really work. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy. So again, so they are soft. You want them to be soft. You soak them overnight or for a few hours with boiling hot water so i'm going to put these in the food processor and i'm going to add these are going to be sweetened with maple syrup so just a little bit of maple syrup which is another great natural sweetener your maple syrup your dates or your honey are great options for natural sweetener a little bit of vanilla take the lid off and again, these are just real food ingredients. The fewer ingredients, the better. And where are those ingredients from? So lemon juice, you can do fresh squeezed lemon, but I prefer, prefer convenience. So <laughs> it's 2021, you know, it's 2021. Exactly. <laughs> right. And this is only one ingredient. The only ingredient in here is lemon juice. So it's perfect. Okay. And then I'm using coconut cream. So canned coconut cream or coconut milk is going to be perfect. Again, that's just one ingredient. And then I'm going to throw some blueberries in here. So you can do, these have a white layer and then a blue layer. So you can make it festive and fun by doing, switching up the colors of the layers, doing strawberries in here or blueberries, but I'm gonna do blueberries. And I have all the measurements, all the measurements you can find at aliceapproved.com. I usually just throw things in here and it works <laughs> out, but <laughs> if you want the measurements, you can get the, the exact recipe. So we have cashews, lemon juice, coconut cream, vanilla, maple syrup, and did I say lemon, lemon juice? <laughs> and then All we right. will just... I'm gonna blend that up so it'll probably be loud for a minute. Mm -hmm. But you can see how easy it is to just kind of, when you when you have the recipe in front of you and, and you can throw them into the blender and, and blend it up and, and see how and it comes out. look at it, it's already coming, yeah. I see that oh. color coming in. <laughs> and for those of you who might just be joining us, these are healthy cheesecake bites. That and she's blending up cashews right now and blueberries and coconut cream. Here we go. It is, we might need to blend it for just a couple more seconds, but it is beautiful. And the longer you soak the cashews, the softer they will be and the easier they will be to use so absolutely it is, and it I, is the craziest thing so <laughs> <laughs> you will just use your just spoon this out into your little mold you use just a muffin tin you'll put those on top of your crust which again the crust is just made out of almonds mm -hmm. dates a little bit of salt a little bit of coconut coconut oil and spoon and, these on top and then and then really Give quickly, the just walk us through the last couple steps because we're running out of time here. I want to make sure we get yeah. through the whole recipe, even though you might not be able to actually act it out for us. <laughs> that's that's it. You just put that's the it. you just put the cheesecake topping on top of your homemade crust. 
you freeze them for three to four hours or overnight. And then I that's put how you get fresh that. strawberries. You can put blueberries on top, and then they are perfect to have on hand, take to a uh, cookout, oh, or just nice. have in the freezer for a sweet treat. And that's it. So real food ingredients, and they are actually nutritious. So they have some nutritional Great. value in here. So you, guilt free. Guilt free. We awesome. love to hear it, Alice. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.